Good morning, church family. Welcome to Heart to Home. Uh, I'm Steve, and I'm glad to be with you this morning. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time. We thank you once again for the ability. Thank you for the people that are watching. And Father God, that through your Holy Spirit, you minister to each one that's watching this devil. And Father God, as I teach or speak or uh, do the devotion, <clears throat> let it be your words and not mine. And we just praise you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so last time I did the devotional, uh, I, mentioned, uh, I mentioned to you that it'd be at least a two-parter. Uh, if you remember last time, uh, it was uh, about being an ambassador. But do you remember the question I asked? Uh, you ready? I'm giving you a minute to think. Been a couple of weeks. Okay. The question was, who or what are you ambassadors for? Do you remember, <clears throat> excuse me, do you remember what a definition of an ambassador is? I'm gonna put it in Steve's dictionary. It's a person who acts as a representative for, for somebody or something or a country. And I shared with you, our base uh, verse was 2 Corinthians 5, 20. It says, then, now then, we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf to be reconciled to God. In this verse, Paul exhorts us as believers that we are ambassadors for Christ. And I want to exhort you too. We are ambassadors for Christ. And uh, it's probably going to be a three-parter. Uh, we're just going to touch some of it today and uh, go through this uh, maybe one more t uh, week session of Devo. Um, but through the Holy Spirit, we are given qualities. And I mentioned a few qualities last time I was here. And actually, we, we started with fearless. But there's also other qualities. Uh, grace, tenderheartedness, merciful, long suffer. Like I said last time, we did fearlessness. But we cannot just stop at fearlessness. There are, so, there are many qualities that the Holy Spirit has given, uh, given Christ's ambassadors. Because, if, if, because you can be fearless doesn't mean you represent Christ. <clears throat> this time we're going to look at grace or gracefulness. If you understand that the grace that has been given to you, we should be graceful as ambassadors for Christ. If we really realize what Christ has done for us through the cross of Jesus Christ, and his sacrifice on the cross, then how can we not be gracious? Um, in Ephesians 2, 8, it says, for by grace we have been saved through faith, that, that not of ourselves, it is a gift of God. If we could do anything for our salvation, if you were ever in my fundamentals class, you've heard this before. We would wear badges, like military badges. I served in nursery for three years. I, uh, whatever it would be, but we can't. We, we cannot earn our salvation. We, we are given it freely as, as great grace, as a gift. Brandon just finished up uh, the Epistle of Galatians at Fusion Fellowship on Wednesday nights. The whole letter was about grace. If you miss any of the lessons, go to Calvary Hemet YouTube and watch or revisit it. But as believers, we understand that it is what's, what Christ did for us on the cross and that we do, do nothing other than have faith. That exactly what Paul was telling the church at Ephesus and us. In Matthew, Jesus teaching on the Sermon on the Mount, right off the bat in the Beatitudes, he says, blessed or happy 
are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy or blessed. Barnes says, quote Barnes um, on this verse, it says, to be poor in spirits is to have a humble opinion of ourselves, to be sensible that we are sinners and we have no righteousness or of our own, to be willing to be saved by grace, the rich grace and mercy of God, and to be willing to be where God places us, to bear what he has laid up on us, and to go where he bids us, and to die when he commands to be willing to be in his hands and to feel that we deserve no favor from him. The op it is opposite to pride, vanity, or ambition. S such are the happy in the quote. We need to realize that it's only through Christ and the cross that we're saved. And when there's nothing special about us, we need to be humble and kind-hearted to people as ambassadors. So as an ambassador for Christ, we need to represent him with grace. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time. Thank you lesson today we ask that you just guide and direct us as we go through this as we are ambassadors as we walk as ambassadors and we stand fearless but with grace and i i thank you for just the qualities the holy spirit has given us as as ambassadors for christ i just pray that as we walk this journey that we bring glory and honor to who you are as ambassadors and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. This will be a three-parter. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.